And a silkworm, mind you, is a, is quite an egocentric creature. Um, and, and actually, the furthest you go, you move forward in evolution by natural selection, the more um, egoism you find in creatures. Um, so when you think about termites, right, they, they their material sophistication is 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 actually very primitive, but they have incredible ability to communicate and connect with each other. So if you think about the entire, all of, na all of nature, let's say all of living systems as like a matrix that runs across two axes. One is material sophistication, which is terribly relevant for designers. And the other is communication. Um, uh, the, the termites ace on communication, but their material sophistication is crap, right? It's just saliva and feces and some soil particles that are built to create these incredible termite mounds at the scale that when compared to human skyscrapers, transcend all of buildable scales, uh, at least at, in, in, in terms of what we have today in architectural practice, just in, relative to the size of the termite. But when you look at the silkworm, The silkworm has zero connection and communication across silkworms. They were not designed to connect and communicate with each other. We, we were fascinated by the computational kind of biology dimension of silkworms. But along the way, uh, those silkworms are not, yes, they're not designed to be like humans, right? They're not designed to connect, communicate, and build things that are bigger than themselves through connection and communication. So what happens when you had 17,000 of them communicating effectively? That's That's a really great question. What happens is that at some point, the templating strategies, and as you said correctly, there were geometrical templating, material templating, environmental templating, chemical templating, if you're using pheromones to guide the movement of bees in the absence of a queen, where you have so a robotic cool. queen. Uh -huh. um, robotic but, queen. But whenever you have these templating strategies, you have sort of control over nature, right? But the question is, is there a world in which we can move from templating, from providing these computational material and immaterial uh, physical and molecular platforms that guide nature, almost like guiding a product, almost like a gardener, um, to a problem or an opportunity of emergence where that biological organism assumes agency by virtue of accessing the robotic code and saying, now I own the code I get to do what I want with this code. Let me show you what this pavilion may look like or this product may look like. And I think one of the exciting moments for us is when we realized that these robotic platforms that were designed initially as templates actually inspired, if, if, if I may, a kind of a collaboration and cooperation between silkworms that are not a swarm-based organism. They're not like the bees and the termites. They don't work together and they don't have, you know, social orders amongst them, the queen and the drones, etc. They're they're all this the same in a way, right? And and here uh, what was so exciting for us is that these computational and fabrication technologies enable the silkworm to uh, sort of to to kind of hop uh, hop from from the branch in ecology of 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 worms to the branch in ecology of maybe human like intelligence where they could connect and communicate by virtue of, you know, feeling or rubbing against each other in, in an area that was hotter or colder. And they were, so the product that we got at the end, the variation of density of fiber and the distribution of the fiber and the transparency, the product at the end seems like it was produced by a swarm silk community. Mm -hmm. But of course it wasn't. It's a bunch of biological agents working together to assemble this thing. That's really, really fascinating to us. How can technology um, um, augment or enable a swarm-like behavior in creatures that have not been designed uh, to work as swarms? So how do you 